Welcome back, welcome back. I've got a buddy in, in, the, in the studio with us. And I call you Billy Ray, but that says there Billy Lewis. Is it okay if Billy I call Ray, you Billy, Billy Ray, Ray Lewis? Billy Ray Lewis is my legal name. I go by Bill Ray. It doesn't matter. Do you? I'll answer it. Well, you that. always know you're in trouble when they when you're in the paper and it has three names there. So That's right. do you That's stay right. in trouble all the time? Well, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. But my, my real name is Billy Ray Lewis. Billy Ray It's almost like uh, somebody asked me the other day. They says, is that uh, Billy Ray Cyrus's brother? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, I, I kidded somebody about him being named after me. After you, time, so. Billy Ray. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Neat. Now you're the information man. You are. You have a passion for freedom of information, or using that information to your advantage. Yes. Or the best of your I, ability. I, I think most people here, Dan, that know me, uh, know that I spent 47 years as an educator, mm -hmm. and during those years, it was obvious to me that we needed to teach our our citizens more of, of what they what their rights are mm -hmm. what they can access what they can't uh, what government's access is and, and what it isn't what their rights mm -hmm. are I was thinking this morning as I was driving to the studio that Americans basically are a, a, a forging ahead type people we're always looking out we're exploring space mm -hmm. we're always doing things and we're always trying to find new ways of doing things mm -hmm. And so I equate this uh, freedom of information idea with that to some degree because we want, as a transparency and government group uh, 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 organization, we want our citizens to know mm -hmm. what their rights are under the law. Mm -hmm. Back and our, in, our law is, our law is mm -hmm. different than any other law in, in the world in that we created this government out of not wanting to be under the thumb of any other government. Well, that's true to some degree, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. And, and the, the way I look at this, back in 1967, this is very interesting. A lot of people don't know this here in Arkansas, that when Governor uh, Wynne Rockefeller was governor here and occupied the governor's seat in Little Rock, he came up with this signature piece and got the legislature to pass it in 1967. So what's in this little book, and I, by the way, I've given your agency yeah, I see here that. about I see 30 that. copies of that. Yeah, we'll give those out I to anyone here that wants those. one. You bet. It's a marvelous piece of, 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 of writing, I think, and I think the legislature needs to be commended back in those days, and now even too, for upholding this law. Mm -hmm. And if I may say this, I'll, 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 I'll put it this way. This is, if a person, if, if all of us knew what was in this little book, and knew what our rights were here in Arkansas, knew what our rights were in terms of accessing governmental documents, going to public meetings, mm -hmm, asking mm -hmm, questions, mm -hmm. being a part of the governmental process. I think this state would be a much better state oh, because sure I would, think yeah. our citizens would be much better informed. Yeah, and, and yeah. I think that's what causes a lot of rift in, in government mm -hmm. meetings because they, they really are trying to figure out how to do the right thing, but the right thing is not always the law. That's correct. And we've said, we've said in our TIG meetings, and I firmly believe this, that 90% of our governmental officials, I think, are trying to do a good job yeah. mm -hmm. and want to do a good job. Mm -hmm. I think there's a certain percentage of our governmental officials, and this is why I think we're experiencing a, a measure of suspicion all over America of the operations of government, and it yeah. shouldn't be that way. Yeah. Because government is really us, or really should be us. And so one of, our, one of our goals is to try to acquaint all of our citizens uh, here in Boone County. We, we, we focus basically within Boone County, excuse me. And one of our goals is to try to get our citizens to recognize what's in this booklet. And this booklet does contain the law. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple law. But it's a very misused law sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that's basically now, what we're, mm -hmm. what this we're about. this handbook that you're sh showing us today, this is not the full information, the Freedom of Information Act. This is just a, of Arkansas. Yes, yes, this does contain the oh, full Arkansas Freedom of Information Act. Oh, it does? Okay. Okay. Freedom okay. Freedom I didn't know if it was Act. just a... Good question. Good okay. question. Yeah. And I might say, too, uh, uh, Arkansas is put down sometimes for what we do or don't yeah. do. But many states have copied this 1967 mm -hmm. law, and I think mm. that's a credit that's neat. to our former governor, to our legislature members, yeah. and to our president. So legislature you said this members. was adopted in 1967. 1967. That's when it all started to happen. Yes. Oh, go. Cool. 
Good. If you'll go through, uh, and I might point this out just a second or two, if you'll go through this little booklet, and, and by the way, I have given you also a copy of a, what I call a Bible, if you, will, if you have a copy of that with you. Mm -hmm. I've given you a copy of what I call a Bible of this. It's written by Dr. John Watkins and Dr. Richard Peltz. They are the two people who know this mm -hmm. law, mm -hmm. have res researched this law frontwards and backwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are really the true authorities. But if you look at this little booklet, if a citizen could pick up a copy of this, it's free. Yeah. And if you'll notice in the very front of this, the Arkansas governor's office sponsors this. They send out copies. Citizens can call the governor's office. They can call the attorney general's office. I have probably a thousand copies of these at home that I've gotten from these various agencies ready to give out mm -hmm. to anybody that wants them. But if you'll look in here, there are a lot of questions. Yeah, I see a lot of questions it's and answers. A lot of and good I, answers. I love that, uh, this format because it's a question you're going to have to ask at some point. Yes, and there's the question and there's the answer. It's very user friendly. It's a very mm -hmm. simple mm -hmm. law. Maybe. And all we want to do in, in the TIG group, the Transparency in Government group, is to try to get people interested in what this law says, yeah. what it guarantees them as citizens, and also what it guarantees our governmental officials, because they have rights too. Mm -hmm. we, want to, we want to recognize that citizens have rights, and then those that we have elected mm -hmm. also have rights mm -hmm. in their positions. Yeah, and if everybody knows what, their, what the game plan, or the rules to the game, then everybody shouldn't be all upset. And everyone's when, well informed. Yeah, that's very true. Can't pay, you can't play baseball and run all the bases if someone catches your ball. That's right. That's right. It's very important that we all, citizens, governmental officials, yeah. adults, young people, understand the Arkansas mm -hmm. Freedom of Information Act. Real quick, you're, you're, you love uh, government. You love information. Uh, you've got this TIG group. I want to find out about that. That's uh, a transparency. In government. In, in government. Okay. TIG, TIG for short. T-I-G-G, -G, okay. And we've been called several things. I don't know, but <laughs> anyway. Okay. One of the things I'd like to, to mention here, and I'll, I'll read a statement or two. We really believe our mission statement, and, and you have a copy yeah. of it there too. And let me read this, if I may, because I think this is very important. The mission of the Transparency in Government Group of Boone County is to ensure transparency and openness in governmental affairs involving taxpayer monies. We're very big on that. And then you'll see down, uh, down, down this page, you'll see about 22 ways mm -hmm. that we want to implement that, that mission statement. Mm -hmm. For instance, we want to encourage the public's right to know. We want people to realize that they have a right to know certain information. Mm -hmm. We want them to get involved in their governmental affairs. We want them to ask questions. We want them to make suggestions. We want them to come up with ideas. Mm -hmm. don't, just, don't just criticize, but come Help up with some good ideas. Yeah. Help our governmental officials to do their job. And so we're very, okay. we're very yeah. pleased with how this has all come about. Okay, now you have, I want to let people know if you want to find out more information, you can become a member or you can just come to a meeting if you'd like. Can't just you? come to a yeah. meeting. We meet the last Tuesday evening of each month at the Dragon King restaurant here in town. Okay. I would be happy. It's if a any... horrible place to be. <laughs> the food is so, so good. wonderful <laughs> place. Wonderful place. And the the management, the ownership and management there have been very gracious to us to let us meet there. They have a nice conference room. Very very comfortable for us. It's heated in the winter time and cool in the mm -hmm. summertime. There you go. But also, I would be most happy to have people to call me at my home or my cell okay. phone number if they want to know more about this. That's been up on the screen throughout the or interview. Or how to get copies of this. I'd be happy to, well, to we, talk You've them. given us a stack and we'll be more than happy to and proud to give these out. If uh, you're in this area, you want to come up to our studio, we'll be happy to have these out on the counter for people to pick up. Thank you very much. I Thank appreciate you, you Bill. Um, and, and what you do, you get, get, you're involved. Well, basically, I think you as a media person, both of you, and, and the other uh, stations here in town, I think basically you all thrive a lot upon FOIA mm -hmm. because part of your responsibility to the public is to find out what's going on yeah. and in governmental affairs, and, and we appreciate what you all are doing, too. Well, we appreciate you being here today, and I'll ask you to come back at some point. Thank you. We'd like Because this subject is not 
surface. I mean, there's a lot going on. There's with a lot, it. lot of things happening. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Billy Ray. Thank yes, sir. You. Good to thank see you. you. And thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much. All right, we're going to take our last break, and when we come back, we're going to be uh, doing Cook our it. family favorite recipes, and we're doing a blueberry cream cheese pie. Stay with us. <laughs>